Hi, I'm Darren. Hi, I'm Graham. And we have just watched The Expendables. For some reason. Well, we know why we watched it. Mm-hmm. Well, I think we watched it because Rambo was so shit that we thought we'd give Statham a second, and Statham Stallone a second chance. Because it, I don't know, he's just so popular, it can't, he can't be that bad. In every film. Yeah. Bar one, which is the one that you like. Copland. Copland. Yeah, yeah, Stallone's really good in Copland. Um, Everything else, though. Do we have the plot for whatever we've just watched? Expandables. Oh, yeah, okay. So, Expandables. 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 Um, Cheers. <laughs> uh, so, do you know what the plot was? What was the film about? I ain't got a clue. There's somebody who lives on Villain Island. Yeah, lives as it's in. called. Villainous. Villaina. And uh, he's he's like a... Is he like a... I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't, know that there's a bad guy. The bad guy... Is... There's Eric Roberts who's a bad guy for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, he's... I honestly don't know why he's the bad guy. I don't know what he did wrong. And then there's the guy that looks like um, James Nesbitt. Who also is the bad guy. He looks like John Favreau. No, he looks like James Nesbitt. Actually looks like John Favreau. I think it was James Nesbitt. It looked nothing like John Favreau. <laughs> if, I not, don't, if, if, if James if, Nesbitt was If you thought was that looked like John film. Favreau, then you don't have eyes. If that, if you think that was John Favreau... If I you don't. think that was James Nesbitt, you were wearing was. a John Favreau fat suit. No, it was, ja- it was, in, it was James Nes- Nesbitt on steroids. It was not John Favreau. Whatever. Fucking idiot. It was wrong, as usual. No. So James Nesbitt was the baddie, but I don't know why. I honestly don't know what was going on. It was just, just... It was just... Uh, yeah. It was, it's, it's like, it was like football. Okay. <laughs> just two opposing sides who hate each other for no reason. Is that football? Basically, isn't it? They're always at... Oh, you mean the supporters? No. The the teams, they were they were clashing for no other reason other than... <laughs> I think than... that the players in football do it because it's a sport, not because they've got rivalries with each other. Yeah, they do. Like that's why you go to a derby. Oh, I don't like football either, so I don't know. Okay. Uh, yeah, it no. Uh, yeah, there was that scene where Stallone was. I think the only reason that Stallone was trying to kill Eric Roberts and James Nesbitt was because he went to church and Bruce Willis and Arnie were there for like presumably the Planet Hollywood condolence meeting, <laughs> and Stallone. I mean, well, they have Bruce pro- Willis was just like, "We go and go to the island," and Stallone was like, "Okay." That's yeah. it. That's literally it. And they made reference to him being governor. Yeah, and Stallone and Arnie was like, why did you go play in the jungle? Because, <laughs> you know, it was written by Oscar Wilde, this film. <laughs> um, yeah, so the only thing that I would say is that surely, as I was saying throughout the film, that film being so fucking boring, which is what it was, yes. makes you appreciate how good films like Predator, which you don't like, even though it's a classic, and The Fast and the you Furious. You like Predator. Everyone and... likes Predator. <laughs> and you like Fast and the Furious. Not the first four. I haven't seen the first four, but I like five and six very mm. much. Tell me why you don't like Predator. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen it, but I just, I don't know. It just felt really kind of sloppy, lazy. You're a fucking idiot. Don't say that to me. It's kind of just clunky, you know, and, and kind do you, of dull. I know I referenced it before, but do I have to remind you that there's a scene in Predator where Arnie and Carl Weathers have a handshake in the air, which turns into an arm wrestle. Yeah, you do now remind you tell me, of me that, that, that is a bad film. It just makes it so much worse. But uh, I'm gonna punch you in the face. As if that's even cope. an interesting. I know you're joking an around. Arm and wrestle. Stuff. I'm not joking around. <laughs> it's an arm wrestle from a handshake. Yeah. How can? Why do you think? Why is that good cinema for you? Yeah. It really is. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> Who was expecting it? I thought it was gonna be a handshake. I don't even think the the director was expecting it. Like it Maybe just came out of nowhere. When you've got good actors like Arnold Schwarzenegger, oh, yeah, yeah. you, you never know to what do they're going to do. Something spontaneous, though. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, do you like the Fast and the Furious five and six? So that's five and six. Ironically. Ironically. Yeah. Why is that? Ironic? I like them I because. Like them. I like them because they think they've produced this great thing. No, but I Vin like Diesel it ironically does. because I like. It's like like in the room. You don't like it because it's a good film. You I like it because it's Fast and Furious unintentionally are, terrible. The stunts are good. The stunts the car chases don't look stuff. fully CGI, and that's kind well, of. I don't a... think they are. <laughs> you don't think there's much CGI in Fast and Furious films? Well, maybe when they're hanging off airplanes and stuff, but you know. Yeah. I think the car chases are generally quite real. Mm. Let's talk about the Expendables. There's not much to say. What is there to say? It's dull. It really is. I don't know who likes these films. I don't know who would watch that and think that's really good. I want to go to see the second. Yeah. What kind of person do you think it would be? Just people who like veins coming people out like of veins. people's arms. That's, a, that's it, isn't it? They're all fucking freaks. Like, you know, there's a scene where 
it's just like it's Mickey Rourke and it's Stallone. It's Dolph just like, Lundgren. Yeah. They've all got melted faces from yeah. just, you know. Hot. Dolph Lundgren looks like <laughs> if Mads Mikkelsen had a gammy brother that was hit by gamma rays. <laughs> Basically, just gamma. Who we, and he likes gammon. <laughs> yeah. That should be his new name. Mm. Although apparently they're all really smart in real life, as you know, as we've said. Yeah. Arnie. Um, yeah, just... Arnie was, a, you know, the governor of some... I mean, he literally got elected for a catchphrase, you know. Yeah. He just walked on stage and I'll be back after the Easter and they all voted for him they because cheered, yeah. Yeah, he's got a catchphrase from a film they like. Yeah. Um, Nobody else wanted to Dolph Lundgren is a rocket scientist or something in real life. Or, yeah. And, you know, he was in a James Bond film, which, you know, boosts him, in my opinion. So was Penny Gilbert Horror? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, same Bond, in fact. Oh, really? Not the same Bond film, but they're both Dons. We, we came up with an idea when watching the film because we're that you know good because um, there was somebody some, uh, Jason Statham's called Lee Christmas and somebody said be gentle Lee and then we thought that was like a character called gentle Lee yeah. and then we gentle came up with the idea of having an Expendables oh, movie sorry. but with all the Bonds where like it starts with George Lazenby getting killed because we don't need him yeah. and then they all unite and it should be amazing Yeah. although it did turn into Sean Connery and Roger Moore in a brothel yeah, that was where just, our plot took us. <laughs> just really being. Yeah, Roger Moore shagging sixteen-year-old girls, and Sean Connery's just hiring them to beat the shit out of them for an hour. <laughs> but uh, that's that's the kind of you know that I think that's a sign of a bad film when you're coming up with some sort of fantasy rape bond film mm-hmm. throughout the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, and like the action, like the action was better than in Rambo because Rambo there was no action; it was, it was just all killing people yeah, and yeah, then just... doing his chubby waddle as he ran from one side of the screen to the other. And in yeah. this, they actually did like proper like fighting and stuff, but it was just cut so quickly, and it was all in, you know, dark in the night time. It was all close up; you just couldn't see anything. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's so just, it just makes it pointless, doesn't it? Yeah. You 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 hire these choreographers and stuff, and you, you and know, Jet Li, who did these nothing. Big actors, yeah. There was like Jet Li and, and uh, Terry Crews who did nothing. Most of them did nothing. Yeah, and some guy Terry with Crews cauliflower ears. Yeah, whoever he was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What did you think of um, Stone Cold Steve Austin Awful. as an actor? Just rubbish. Yeah. Does it again? Does that not make you think how good The Rock is, particularly in films like Fast and Furious 5 and 6? Yeah, and uh, and what's his name? Um, he's in Guardians of the Galaxy. Dave Batista. Batista, Batista yeah. yeah, but he was he in was in Riddick. Some, he's in an, yeah, yeah, he's in Riddick, yeah. And Riddick was an awful movie. Was he the rapist? Probably. Everyone that wasn't male, that wasn't female was a rapist in that film. Yeah. Especially Vin Diesel. Yeah. That was a shame. What, that he was a rapist? Yeah, I like I like Riddick as a Do character. You? As What's the like? What What is he? He's not in the dark. That's it, isn't it? He's a man who can see in the dark. That's and he what's likes, special and he's about. friends with the dog things, isn't he? And he gets a dog. He gets his own dog in the in yeah, the third one. Yeah, he gets a CG one. dog. It was really bad, and the blood in all this looks CG as well. Oh, and, the, and that's the thing. Like the problem is that this could have been a fun film, like all the eighties bulky films, you know, with the meaty men. Yeah, the meaty <laughs> man, the meaty man. <laughs> that they, you know, they were at least fun because they were just so ridiculous. Whereas this took itself seriously. It's just there wasn't so... any one liners. You know, it's like at least know why we like these sort of rubbish eighty movies, eighties action movies. The scenes like where they're like talking about the past and they're actually crying. Yeah, there was they're a bit actually where... tearing up on. Uh, yeah, film. Mickey Rourke was dribbling in one scene. Like, <laughs> giant gangly lip was like hanging like a foot from his face <laughs> and there was like a stream of just saliva coming down as he was I don't know what he was talking about we were too busy talking over it yeah it was dull yeah it was just so talking boring talking about women like the the fact that he's he's had like 50 girlfriends and stuff yeah and they all leave him because they're prostitutes I think and I doesn't understand that, the point of the prostitute yeah I reckon Mickey Rourke probably has had 50 girlfriends in real life but I suspect he wouldn't have if he wasn't rich oh he used to be good looking. Yeah, he used to be. Until he, he paid for himself to be ugly for it. <laughs> yeah. Like Stallone. Yeah. Mm. I think it's just because he got punched in the face too many times. He didn't Wait. understand how to act as a boxer, so they just got the people to punch him in the face. Who are you talking about? Mickey Rourke or Stallone? Both. Because Mickey Rourke was a boxer in real life, wasn't he? Yeah. When he decided that acting wasn't for him, he stopped being a good actor and became a bad boxer. Yeah. And then became a good actor with a bad face. <laughs> yeah. So you're excited for the uh, sequels to Expendables? Yeah, I still kind of want to watch the second one and the third one, and I don't know why. Yeah. Because it was bad. And I don't know how they've attracted more and more... Well, I do, because they're all people that are out of work anyway, aren't they? Wesley Snipes is in the third one. What's he done since, other than time? <laughs> oh, <laughs> zing. <laughs> I really told him. <laughs> yeah, I like Blaze, so I'm not slagging him off. Oh, I don't like good. him. That. Demolition Man's amazing. Yeah, is, is, it, is, it though? is it though, actually? Yeah. There's your ten minutes. Save by the bell before I scold you. 
tell me why Demolition Man's so good. I haven't seen it in a long time, but I don't. The sex scene with Sandra Bullock, the three seashells. Yeah, I remember that, and that if that's why it's so good, then it can't be good. The action in it's really quite fun, because it's like you know what? In fact, they missed Demolition Man off the total films uh, list of best future. You know, escapes. Empire. Or, oh, Empire, whatever. Yeah. Um, top ten. We can list. tag them both in the video now. <laughs> And yeah, they did. A, what was the ten, top ten, ten, list? ten vision, ten best visions of the future, or something like yeah. that? And you think Demolition Man should be in that? Yeah, so it because should be Metropolis. There's a Taco Bell. Brazil, and whatever you just said. Fifth Element. Dem- and Demolition then Man. Demolition Man. Yeah. I I disagree. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Mm. But uh, because like they've got like oh I don't know it's. What's your favorite? It's interesting. It's a delay movie. Quickly. Definition. De- de- definition, man. De- is it really? Uh, I suppose you've not seen Copland, and then after that, I it really is just Copland. which piece of Free shit you want to push out the barrel. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. No, I do. I do. I do quite enjoy. Have you? Wait, have you actually seen it? Yeah. How long ago? A long time ago. Well, you should watch it again. Like when I was too young to have watched it. Really yeah. I, I will watch it again. Because Sandra Bullock's good anyway. I mean, she's a good actress. She so. is. It's a shame we lost her in space that time. <laughs> she's still yeah. up there. Yeah. And um, Bruce, what's your favorite Bruce Willis film? Fifth Element. Really? What is going on? <laughs> More so than Die Hard. Die Hard was really, no, really good. No, Twilight Monkeys, surely. Okay, yeah. Tw- yeah, tw- yeah, okay. And then Looper. And yeah, then, and Moonrise and then, Kingdom. Okay, and then Moonrise Kingdom. And, uh... Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, I'm not. I don't know, there's another good one, isn't there? This must be another good Bruce Willis <laughs> yeah. what, um, Unbreakable? No. Fifth Element beats Unbreakable. No. Just because it's got Sam Jackson in. Doesn't That's it? not just why it's good. It's an amazing film. Uh, and yeah. who's the other one? Arnie, what's your favourite Arnie movie? Got by a bloody a pool cover. Oh, God what's forbid. Your what's what your point? What is your point? <laughs> <laughs> what, what was your next question? Who, what's your favourite Arnie film? Arnie. It's definitely not Predator. It should be. Um, Arnie. I bet it's something fucking shit, isn't it? Like Kindergarten Cop or something. I love that film. Yes, yeah, I like it one. too, but it's not my favourite Arnie film. He's twins. the best in that. Oh, Twins is good. Yeah. I, I loved Arnie. Not Terminator or True Lies or, as you say, Predator. No, yeah. what's to enjoy about them when you've got Kindergarten Cop a bit available? I do like Kindergarten Cop. It's I like that bit fun. in um, Last Action Hero where he does Hamlet and he's like, to be or not to be? And then he pulls an Uzi and he goes, to be, and shoots everything. <laughs> <laughs> With no, a cigar, I think. I don't think he understands. Yeah, he's, he's super smart though. And this is a, you know what? You've got that problem with Stallone saying that, you know, he's a really nice guy, he seems intelligent, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Then he makes rules. Well, I've got a new theory about him. I don't think I've said that, have I? No. Basically, I... Well, let me finish. Uh, okay. so, 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 but you haven't got a problem with Arnie being intelligent and super smart as we know he is. Yeah, because he still does good films. You name me... Oh, I have to name oh, you five oh, oh, good oh. Stallone movies. I'm struggling with the first one. Okay. You have We've to just, just name five good Arnie movies. Easy. Just, well, you're just done it, haven't we? Yeah, there's two Terminators that are good. <laughs> yeah, Terminator uh, is amazing. Go on, what's your theory? So basically, in the, in the Rambo video, I said this theory... Um, about I didn't I used to think that Stallone was really thick and a rubbish actor and then I saw him in interviews and saw him in Copland and it turned out that he wasn't thick and he was a good actor which made me think of even worse of his bad films because he knew better then I heard this thing that apparently he's like a really anti-gun guy like he goes to all these campaigns uh. to ban them and stuff like that and uh, and I was thinking how can somebody who's so against guns make all these movies about people you know glamorizing guns and then I was thinking coupled with all that that he is actually a smart man what if his entire career has been just a satire of the sort of meat-headed, gun-loving Americans that he kind of protests against? So we watch Stallone's movies thinking like, what a fucking idiot shooting that gun and being all sort of thinking he's cool. When the point is that he's not meant to be cool. It's totally subverted. Yeah, but we all just, because he, he's attracted the clunky, brainy-dead crowd, we all just take it completely at face value. I guess that's, that. I think I think a lot of people like don't like him and stuff because, one, because his films aren't that good and stuff, but... It is a shallow dislike of him in it because you can't understand him. Yeah, but that's understandable. It is. Oh, yeah, I think absolutely. it's okay it to not like him because you can't understand what yeah, they're saying. Absolutely. Like, there was a conversation between Mickey Rourke and Stallone that needed subtitles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Definitely. I don't think that we would have learned much about what they were saying from the subtitles. It's not like it was anything <laughs> yeah. insightful. Not very. No, there was a bit, what was it he said? Somebody said in the film, whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And then somebody yeah. else said, he's not wrong about that. Yeah. And so that wasn't the most cliche thing to ever <laughs> yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. There was another one, what did he, um, he was talking about women and he's just like, come on, what did he say? And it was just know. the most pointless thing. Um, he had a lucky ring. That was a pointless comment. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. The girl in it looked like a, 
sort of rejected slaggy Bond girl from the 70s that Roger Moore would have sort of slapped away. <laughs> Not to bring it back to Bond. But you know those like forgettable ones from like Fiora Eyes Only and stuff? Yeah. They were just miscellaneous foreign women that were probably a bit cheaper than their American kind of... <laughs> They've outsourced the Bond girls. Yeah. Amazing. Anyway, we've done over 10 minutes. Well over 10 minutes. Yeah, it was just a really boring film. And to think that if you dull. like Expendables, like, you're probably an idiot. Please explain to us what to enjoy about that, because there's no story, really. No. Even if there is a story, you can't figure it out, you can't discern it from the characters explaining it. There's no exposition, really. Uh, the action is too close to be comprehensible. And there's not one single handshake that turns into an arm wrestle. Not one. Not one. That might have, you know, raised the bar for me, but... Uh, just... Then again, if I'd seen that, I'd have just thought, yeah, it was not as good as one in Predator. <laughs> yeah. You know, who, it, if it was like, you know, the guy with cauliflower ears and Stone Cold Steve Austin, I've just been thinking, yeah, but they're no Arnie and Carl Weathers, are they? Yeah. Well, no, they aren't anyway. No. Anyway. But, um... Carl Weathers, Jesus. Oh, this is amazing. Yeah. But, uh, he's Apollo Creed in the Stallone yeah. films. Yeah. And he, you know, did the decent thing and died in the second second or third one. <laughs> did the drug no, it was the fourth one. Was the it, right wasn't it Club of Lang that killed him? Dolph Lundgren, in fact. Oh, okay. you know, all, They're all connected. Yeah. Like, inbreeding these meatheads. The expandables. Anyway, we should call it a day. Yeah, we should do. And they should stop making them films because I think they've got enough retirement well, money now. Two and three could be good. Statham was good. Jet Li was underused, but, you know, Jet Li's always good. Unleashed is really Statham's good. always good. Statham is good. Mm. Anyway, we should watch Crank X. I watched it the other day. Did you? Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, it's a shame, isn't it? Why? He's just he's underused. I mean, they used him a lot in this, but 